Job, as the symbol of suffering and unconceded invocation, is represented as a separate theme of the gallery's permanent display. The space is dominated by the sculpture in the round that was created in the year 1946. The contracted nude is in the posture of invocation. The composition of the body is a curve, with the head thrown back and the feet as points in the foreground, while the drawn-in stomach gives the impression of a hollow. This is where the viewer's look is focused. To continue further on in the direction of the head, with its mouth half open in a wail. The body is moulded as being ascetic, bony, with toes and fingers cramped, with protruding collarbones and empty stomach. The surface is agitated, vibrating, and the stressed expressionism is equally present in the modelling of both face and body. The whole composition is endowed with powerful energy, and Job's psychophysical condition is transferred to the surrounding space. In this sculpture, Ivan Mestrovich has radically expressed his own suffering experienced in the Second World War. In the same space is displayed a sketch of Job, created at the time of Mestrovich's stay in the Ustasha prison in 1941, when he shared the cell with the painter Jozo Klyakovic. Mestrovich tried to kill the time by drawing on smuggled in wrapping paper. The thin lines drawn in charcoal roughly sketch the gaunt body. Knobby knees and angular shoulders are not described in detail, but using short strokes, Mestrovich deprived the skeleton of flesh in order to ignore the corporal and draw attention to the hands and head with its upward look as symbols of prayer. Just as on the sculpture in the round, suffering as the motif of the representation is most expressed in the fingers and face. The stressed eyebrows and hook-shaped nose also leave the impression of cramp and hardship, while the steadfast look of the wide open eye suggests hope for the final outcome.